Hello, today is day 7 of our 3 a.m. prayers and it's the last day and it is titled Have fun with one another. Have fun with each other. That's what God wants us to do because he wants us to be with our best friend and what do you do with your best friend? You have lots of fun together. <laughs> okay, so just hop on and start praying in the spirit. Get warmed up in the Holy Ghost. Get, get quickened by him in Jesus' name. Hey, yeah. Sorry for the loud noises. Washing machine and dryer. Okay. I don't have any scripture for today. So I'm just going to read whatever the Lord wants me to. Whatever I land on. Whatever you bring to my mind, God. Have your way, Holy Ghost. We pray that we have fun with our spouses. <laughs> A spouse that we are compatible with. Compatibility is very important. Alright. <laughs> Is it Maybe I'll do this. It might be less noise. I actually don't know. Sorry. Eya reshatara kendiriya eririri andararu shatariririri Here we go All righty Eya shandiriririri siririrya ekiririri andararu shatarara wa sirire zete tetereru shukiririri andararu wa sirirya Quicken us God to understand your word and the message you have for us tonight Today, Hallelujah. Is this city under a rice? Is this city under a cross? 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 Is this city under a Is Is 
Just like Jesus calls us, God calls us his friend. Uh, you have fun with friends. And Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. And that includes having fun. And if you think Jesus is not fun, then you haven't experienced the fun side of Jesus yet. You, you need to get with it, okay? Because he's hilarious. He, he makes jokes with you. He will even laugh at your jokes. <laughs> he will um, do things and, 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 and you'll know that he's doing it to be funny. He's doing it to catch your attention, to make you laugh. And so he, he wants us to laugh. He wants us to smile. And casting out demons, that's fun. If you never casted out demons before and you're afraid of doing it, well, God hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and sound mind, okay? Cast out a demon and tell me it's not fun. Tell me it's not super duper fun. <laughs> it's enjoyable, okay? Because I, I do it with my brothers and sisters in Christ. And we, it, it, it's exhausting. But afterwards, you're like, yeah, that was so much fun. <laughs> I can't explain it. It's like, I've never been to a club. It's like, I don't know. It's just really fun. It's wholesome fun. Can't. And then. Uh, also. So. So th this week has been about marriage. Just like last week. Last week. Uh, week five. So it was two weeks ago. And then this week. And. It's about marriage. And God wants us to know that having fun is important to him. Enjoying each other's company is, in, is important to him. Because guess what? He also wants us to enjoy his company. Okay? I, I think I went over this when I went over the video concerning friendship. How... God wants uh, us to keep each other company. Oh, cleave. Cleaving is part of friendship in a marriage, especially with God. And so if our relationship with one another is supposed to represent our marriage with God, then God wants us to cleave. He wants us to keep company, keep our spouse company, entertain each other. Okay, that was one of the definitions, I believe, of cleave. Or friend. I think it was friend. But let's see. Let's see. All my notes are on my phone. And I record all my videos on my phone. So I can't look at that right now. But I can. Look it up online. Hey. Okay. So here we have. Oh, yes. Here it is. Hey. So we went over Proverbs 27, 17, Song of Solomon 5, 16, Isaiah 41, verse 8, which concern, which contain the word friend. Okay, now let me open another tab. Proverbs 27, 17. Proverbs 7, 17. One of these said, entertain each other. And let's 
go over what entertain means real quick. Because I need to realize what certain words mean, okay? So entertain means provide someone with amusement or enjoyment. Meaning you want to do fun things together that you both enjoy. That amuse the both of you. Uh, hopefully this is fine. Um, you want to bring the light into your midst, okay? And not be boring. Alright? Nobody wants a boring partner that you can't have fun with. Hey, shut up. Let's see. Receive someone as a guest. And provide them with food and drink. I love doing that. I would, I love feeding people. They, um, so uh, I would absolutely enjoy feeding my future spouse. That's fun for me. That's entertainment. That's enjoyment. That makes me feel like I'm on top of. A waterfall. <laughs> I love waterfalls. And then it says, give attention or consideration to an idea, suggestion, or feeling. Meaning, if, if your partner likes something that maybe you're not sure you're into or you didn't even consider being into, uh, show some consideration and uh, in entertain it. You know, do it with them. Go to the theater with them if they love the theater, if they love musicals. And even if you hate it, maybe if they really, really want you to do it, you can agree to do it every once in a while together. You don't gotta be so uptight and strict about what you won't do with your partner, okay? If, if they really, really want you to go, you know? If, if it'll make them feel good, just entertain them. It's not, it's really not that deep. I don't like, I don't like watching football. I don't like watching any sport, actually. I like playing the sport. I don't want to watch it. And so... Anytime someone, my ex, wanted to watch sports, I would watch it with them. I would go to sleep. <laughs> but I'd watch it with them for about 20 minutes. And then I just couldn't keep my eyes open anymore because it was just so boring. But I tried, okay? Be considerate, you know. But, you know, if they hate it that much, <laughs> don't, don't force anybody to do anything. Still want to have fun with them. I'm just saying, you might actually end up liking something that you didn't like or didn't think that you liked or didn't even consider the fact that you might enjoy it before. Don't be so shut off to having some new fun with your partner. Hallelujah. Proverbs 27, 17. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. You make your, okay, sh to sharpen something is to make it uh, cut better, all right? Makes it stronger. Uh, it, it, it grows in its ability to sever a thing or to change something, okay? And then the countenance is the face of someone. It's not it's not just the face. It's 
excuse me it's it's the presence uh, it's the presence it's the person okay it is shot and then friend means companion, fellow, an intimate friend, a brother, a husband, lover, okay? It is shot. Okay, so husband. So basically, friends are supposed to sh sharpen each other and, and come together in uh, in a marriage, you know. We're talking about marriage. We're supposed to strengthen the face of the other as, as a friend. Strengthen the person of the other as a friend. Meaning so we have fun together. It's supposed to actually bring you two closer together. It's, to po it's supposed to strengthen your, your friendship. It's supposed to strengthen your relationship with one another. And so that's, that's what having fun together is doing. We have a lot of fun. In our future marriages. I am. <laughs> and then Song of Solomon 5.16 says his mouth is most sweet it, it, it. yeah he is altogether lovely this is my beloved and this is my friend O oh, daughters of jerusalem so not only does okay fun having fun with someone means you're enjoying them so part of that enjoyment is coming from your mouth all right sweet words his mouth is sweet a hey. y'all enjoying some jokes together y'all laughing together okay is it his mouth his mouth is most sweet a shatara hallelujah is it did it it and that are created it 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 it's very hot a shot it 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 and the little city and the hey get a shunder it 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 is it 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 and that are a barry Song of Solomon 516. Is it is it a little bit under a little shitty under a little? Is it a little under a little cross a city? I shake it. And then here, sweet means sweet or sweet thing, pleasing, visit physic figuratively or literally. Is that a little city under? Is 
Oh, it also means relish. I remember we went over that word to relish. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Relish is because relish is also a condiment. All right. You add fun to the mix. Fun is an addition to the foundation of, of the Lord Jesus. It's just like in, in, in your marriage, it's, it's, it's okay. You have your mission in Christ together. And part of that mission is to have a successful marriage. And included in that marriage, is a number of things and it, which includes having fun together obviously being friends and when we looked up the word relish see it said a condiment eaten with plain food to add flavor so this condiment this fun whatever that new fun you want to have with your partner is something you both never tried before something you already both love whatever this thing is it's being added to the marriage to add flavor <laughs> that's that's what fun does fun adds great enjoyment it adds the sauce the flavoring the seasoning <laughs> to your marriage. Yes, God, I pray that we add, you help us to add that relish to the mix. That we have fun with our spouse. That you put us with somebody that we're actually going to have fun with and not clash on everything. Excuse me. Yeah. I just had your pole there. Is it the Riri and the Roro Cross the Riata Raba? And here, my friend means uh, it means the same thing as the other one. I think one of these is different. Isaiah 41, verse 8. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. The seed of Abraham, my friend. This one's different. Ah, yes, I remember. When you said my friend, it means to love. So you said my, my love. Abraham, my love. So being a friend to your spouse is being someone who loves your spouse. <laughs> Having fun with them means that you love them. Okay? It's part of loving them. Loving your spouse. <laughs> what is that? There's a theme song in my mind. I <laughs> don't know what, what show is coming from. <laughs> I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> 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 
but it's like <laughs> okay human love for one another includes family and sexual okay who is your spouse it's your family and your sexual partner okay it is Okay, that is the person you have the fun love with. Also, under act of being a friend is lover, friend. Okay, and then another definition under friend it says to have affection for sexually or otherwise it is And often, what happens is we have fun with people that we like, right? So it's what we're supposed to like our spouse. And affection means a gentle feeling of fondness or liking. So we must have affection just like the bible says have brotherly affections for one another as as one spouse to the other you are supposed to have spousal affection towards one another and this is included in fun 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 Affection, the act or process of affecting or being affected. Meaning, it's not just one person showing this affection for the other. Okay? Y'all both doing it for one another. It's not one-sided. It's not one-sided. Hallelujah. <laughs> I Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
Polispera, vio, ella, rica, chetiriria, eki, grira, andororo, chetiriria, andororo. I feel that like every limitation, every boundary, eki, grira, andororo, every veil of darkness, chetiriria, shakiriria, that would keep us from being best friends with our current spouse or future spouse. Is falling to the ground right now in the name of Jesus. Our friendship is covered in the blood of Jesus. Every tower of the enemy, every pillar of the enemy, every pillar of work, uh, of the work of darkness of witchcraft against our minds against our souls every unclean spirit that is to whisper in our ears trying to keep us from enjoying our spouse let it be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. Let there be a wall of protection round about our friendship with one another, our friendship with our spouse. That we have fun with each other from day one until the day that we separate from each other uh, at death. Hedge of protection of the fire of the uh, living God. Fire of the Holy Spirit. And rivers of living water. That will keep our fun alive in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. But if we have ran out of ways to have fun with one another, we have implant ideas in our minds. I was writing down things that I could do with my future spouse. And I, I would have never thought of this on my own. The, the, the words food tour came to my mind. I'm like, food tour? Is that a thing? And then I looked it up. And yeah, they're a thing. It's it's so cool. And I'm like, wow, I could do that with my future husband. And I was like, that that was definitely a thought from the Holy Spirit. It's his idea, and I would have never thought of that on my own. So, if you don't know what to do to have fun with each other, just ask the Holy Spirit, and He'll let you know. Hey, hallelujah. Hey, Zeriri, Andreri, Zekiri, Zeriri, 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 Zeriri,
Uh, God is our wise counsel, okay? The Holy Ghost is our scholar. He is our helper. So He will help us maintain good friendship with one another to have fun. Every day, even you can have fun every day, even in the smallest ways. You can have fun with your partner. You can do something you both enjoy together every day. We, we shouldn't wait until, you know, the... The waters run dry, you know, the, the well is dry, but have, have fun before things get dry, okay? Keep that flavor, keep that seasoning, relish one another. We will relish one another every day always. In Jesus' name, we will choose to do so. Same feeling, Holy, Holy Spirit, what are you doing? Is <laughs> Arrasha 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, hit the bell notification. Send this to as many people as you please okay hopefully at least three people and so that you guys can you know join me in this consecration this year with the lord so we can grow in spiritual stature with one another and share our testimonies of how the Lord has blessed us greatly. The Lord has blessed us indeed. Ah, Lord, help us to have a clean, to have clean hands and a pure heart. Within our marriage, not just to you, but to our uh, human spouse. Human beings spouse here on the earth. Clean hands and a pure heart is shattered within our friendship towards one another. Clean hands and a pure heart in our fun with one another. Clean hands and a pure heart. 
in our love for one another, rakasa, in our reverence for one another, rasiriri, our repetisi kiriri under rojiriria, zgiriria shigiriri under rosiriri, or rushiriri under rosiriri, in the way that we speak to one another, rashigiriri under it, is the sikiriri, cause our words to be sweet, tiriri under it, cause our words to be sweet, ekiriri shiri. Cause our words to be sweet towards one another. So that we bring each other peace and joy. Our speech is sweet toward one another. We, we are conscientious of the way in which we speak to one another, our tone of voice. You know, how you say something to someone is important. You know, it determines whether it comes out sweet or rotten. <laughs> whether it sounds like just something someone that loves you would say or someone who is abusive. Sweet words towards our friend, our friend. Sweet words towards the person that we're gonna have fun with for the rest of our life. It is she did it. Is this it? Did it under it? Is this it? Did it? Yeah, she did it. Is it did it under it? Oh, goodness. Oh, Oh, sorry. <laughs> for, for helping us to keep fun alive in our in our friendship with our spouse. 
Thank you for keeping fun alive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, let us have fun in the things that you call us to do, God. The things you call us to do together, Lord. Like when it comes to having children, when it comes to uh, just living, t uh, living in the same space with one another cause us to have fun in that cause us to have fun with our home decorations you know cause us to have fun you know some people think uh having fun is you know dressing alike twinning <laughs> you know just give us ideas uh give us ideas to keep fun alive <laughs> Keep fun alive in our marriages. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Huh? It's very late. I got home very late. Even cause us to have fun in, you know, traveling together, doing our ministry with one another, whether it's evangelism, prophesying, praying, whether it's teaching, preaching, uh, 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 building new churches together, wherever it may be, God, call us to have fun with it, enjoy one another's time, company, enjoy one another's company in doing these things with one another, because who wants to be around someone that they don't like? God wants us to like each other. God doesn't want us to get married just for uh, better financial status. Better reputation. Or any other wrong motive to get married. He wants us to like one another and love each other. Lord, draw as near to one another to the to that person is to, with that which will be <laughs> words words they're not coming right now to the person who will be our best friend our best friend yeah Hallelujah. Oh, sorry. Oh, I forgot that was right here. Hopefully it sounds fine. 
harus sendiri yang terdiri A fun could just fun could just be going for a walk with one another every day. That could be your fun with one another for a while until you guys do something else that's fun every day. Okay? It can be very simple things. Very simple. I love going for walks. It indoor picnics, outdoor picnics. In the winter, indoor picnics. For me at least because I don't like when it's cold. <laughs> they have fun indoors. Don't forget, you guys, this is just one hour of a total of three to four hours that we pray every day for seven days, every other week together. If you don't have anything to say, pray the word of God. If you just want to uh, commune with the Holy Ghost, you can just... This is stretching us and praying for long periods of time, you know. 
three to four hours, I was already doing two hours every day, and then at or at least two hours. But now I'm doing a minimum of three to four hours every day, and uh, it's it's stretching me, okay. And before I would even pray for eight hours a day, but I would be distracted even at work and so it, it was easier and so when the Lord had me praying for eight hours a day for a week that really stretched me in a way that I didn't experience it when I was doing it at work because I was distracted I was working I was cooking talking to uh, co-workers all that and I was yeah, and so what God is calling us to do, if you can, if you have the time, because I don't think that I would have the time to pray as intentionally as I wanted to while working. Uh, because as soon as I got home, I would go to sleep or eat. I was very exhausted every day working like being on my feet all day and then driving an hour home and after driving an hour to work spending all day there driving an hour home it was, it was just difficult okay it was a lot after a while and i was getting up at 3 a.m so yeah now i'm getting up at 3 a.m <laughs> and i'm praying for at least an hour and then once i get up for the day I continue to pray some more and I try to make um, it intentional like praying while studying the word or just praying while reading the word and or just go outside go for a walk or be working out and praying because uh, depending on what the workout is I, I can pray out loud if I'm not like heavy breathing and I just it's just such a sweet experience with the father such a sweet experience to just be I just feel so elated so <sighs> I just feel like I'm on clouds <laughs> and that's definitely more more intimate than being at work and just being busy with work like when I'm working out, it's not, I don't really like see it as being busy. I see it as me having fun with God. If that even makes sense. I'm doing something that I think is fun and I'm doing it with God. Therefore, it's an intimate experience. It's me having fun with him, in my opinion. And so, and I experience it much differently than I, like that time with him. Uh, much differently than what I did when I was praying eight hours while I was at work. So what I'm saying is that pray more uh, intimately with him. Pray while you're doing something fun. Pray while you're reading the word. And we pray in the spirit. We can pray in the spirit and read at the same time. And, you know, it won't, we won't get confused, you know. We won't have to backtrack because... We can't like uh, think like write a list in our head of what we need to do tomorrow and read the book at the same time. But we can pray in the spirit and read the book at the same time because it's the Holy Ghost praying, not us. We are just speaking it. The Holy Ghost is providing it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. All right, guys, I'm going to bed. Good night.